Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ruba Fan and this is the video analysis of the charter of Moxie, Millie and Luna. Moxie is one of the protagonists of Luva Boss. He is the assassin and weapons expert of IMP and he is also Millie's husband. His nicknames are Sweetie, Mox and Mox Mox by Millie, Old Man by Octavia, and M and Mox Mox by Blitz. He likes cooking, culinary arts, musical theater, and classical music. He also dislikes Blitz prying into his personal life and stalking him. Dean Parks, Dean Parks mascots, killing the innocent, and pop music. His sexuality is confirmed to be bisexual. He is, uh, of course, like Mo uh, Blitz and Millie, an M demon. And uh, his abilities are expert uh, weapon handling, musical talent, and he can also play the guitar, as shown in the palette or in the song that he sings for Millie named Homily. His occupation is obviously an assassin and the weapon specialist in IMP employee. His appearance uh, are the one of an imp demon with red skin and white freckles on his cheeks. His white pointy hair leads up to his curvy black and white striped horns. He also has yellow sclera with black slit pupils. Moxie has a long thread thin tail with a quadrilateral bar at the end, as well as lanky digitated legs ending in what appears to be clothed red hoofs, reminiscent of Artiodactyls. Moxie's usual outfit consists of a navy black coat with red buttons and white cuffs, uh, black pants, a uh, white shirt that has a black turtleneck, a large red bow tie, and fingers gloves. Regarding key personality, we can say that Moxie is an imp who is easily annoyed and rather clumsy. Uh, for example, he trips over the idealistic book on the way through the portal to the living world, as shown in the pilot. He is the IMP weapon specialist, as said before, and as such has a vast knowledge of weapons. He is often the most vocal of the employees regarding the company as a world despite its dysfunctional environment and is bullied consequently, especially by Blitz and Luna. Despite being a murder for hire imp, uh, it seems also that Moxie has a problem with unnecessary killing beyond their targets and appears uh, distraught when uh, he believes he almost killed an innocent child. Uh, also, uh, Heddy, the, uh, as shown in the pilot, uh, we can see that Moxie there is uh, panicking. He can be seen being consoled in, a sh in the hospital by Millie. He also has a problem with the idea of killing targets uh, who have families and tries to give people second chances, uh, as seen in Murder Family. He loves his wife, uh, sadic sentences and brutality, and he also says that uh, in the song named Homily, that he wrote for Millie. Moxie is also shown to have a comical side, uh, as when he talks about killing an entire family, he claims it might be alright if uh, it was just a uh, um, mob family, for example. A bad human family. And uh, when finding out the, that Blitz used to date Verosica Mayday, he asked uh, if she had suffered uh, blindness uh, or brain damage, implying that a pop star such as her wouldn't usually date Blitz unless they had some form of mental disability. If he is drunk, uh, he loses all common sense and becomes quite delusional and cl more clumsy, as shown uh, when he asks Millie why she has four heads. Um, he is uh, also really, really, uh, we can say, innocent. 
because uh, he doesn't like uh, the idea of killing innocent people and uh, he's also uh, rather calm to explain situations for example when he tries to um, talk uh, with Verosica and this girl for the parking spot he also is shown to become when drunk increasing flirtation with her when uh, when shown in uh, episode 4 some curiosity about him are that Moxie's name is based on the word Moxie which means to have fighting spirit and above Moxie's next stand in his bedroom is a frame sheet with a domino mask and a rose picture on it that says pay bill uh, this might be an oversighted that was supposed to say playbill, as maxed and roses are common imagery used for the theater. That could be a reference to the musical Phantom of the Opera that Moxie seems to love and to be a big fan of it. He also, in his Voxagram count, has dressed as the Phantom of for Owen, uh, while Millie. Um, had um, uh, a long curvy hair in there and uh, was uh, uh, wearing a matched costume. Uh, Max's nightstand nice is what appears to be a friend vinyl record with a plaque that says Moxie. It seems possible that Moxie is or was a musician, as you can sing and play guitar, as friend music award, as an alarm clock with a musical note on it, and uh, indeed his bedroom and living room wallpaper have musical notes on them. Uh, it is possible also that Moxie's suite is a conjecture suite, as it is black, as penguins tails, and has a bow tie. There is a large photo of what could possibly be Moxie and Millie's wedding photo in the meeting room. In it, Moxie is wearing a white suit while Millie is wearing a long striped black dress and has wild hair that goes down past her hips. It appears Blitz has drawn uh, also over the photo he read marker to draw himself hugging them. The same photo seems to be in their living room. A road one can only see the bottom half and it does not have blitz graffiti. Maxi makes also a cameo in uh, Vipsy Pops uh, short uh, called Holy Days as an ornament on a Christmas tree. And uh, he makes uh, a cameo also with blitz in the Husband Hotel pilot uh, appearing as a silhouette um, in the book section. Maxi does uh, not swear as often as the others, but and when in a bad situation, he often uses the comparative tame praise or crumbs. Maxi is uh, susceptible to motion sickness, uh, shown by him appearing noses where the shark uh, in one of the imagine shown during the I am Peel commercial jingle in the pilot, uh, as well by him uh, throwing up uh, after riding uh, the roller coaster in Little Land. And also, he seems scared of mascots and believes them to be perfect under their costumes. Now, let's talk about Millie. Millie is uh, Maxi's wife and is an employee um, um, of IMP. Um, she, uh, her nickname is uh, Hon Honey. Uh, My Assassin Love and Angel of Death by Moxie and Mills or M by Blitz. She likes killing the I Am Key commercial jingle and going to Lululand. She apparently has also more siblings, like she said in the episode 2 of Lululand. He, she dislikes anyone insulting Moxie. And uh, her sexuality is bisexual. She's uh, a female imp demon that uh, has fire resistance and skilled with weaponry like Moxie and Blitz. Uh, she is the priest at IMP. And her appearance uh, are 
uh, of a sh- the one of a shot and him white a long demonic tail with white markings. So she has red skin, eyes with yellow scleras and black pupils and long black eyelashes that extend beyond the side of her hair. She has two black horns with three tiny white stripes and greyish black hair worn in a messy bob style and bangs that uh, cover half of her right horn. She has a beauty mark on her left cheek and a gap between her front seat. Millie's head is noticeably more human-like than a lot of other imps, like in the point of upper thigh lip. Uh, her teeth also usually appear flatter than the sharp conical teeth most demons have. Her usual attire consists of black lipstick, a simply black choker, a cold shoulder black crop top with gold buttons where the straps in the top meet the torso piece, turn black pants, fingerless black gloves and black footwear that does not cover her hoof like toes. Um, Millie also has a black tattoo in the shape of a heart on her right shoulder and two white splotches on the inside and outside of each of her eyeballs. In the pilot, uh, her hair had a white splot mark uh, near the right horn, uh, although it was removed uh, by the serif proper. Regarding her personality, Millie is very lovely and cheerful, often with a smile on her face and really standing still. Uh, she is a clear extrovert and isn't afraid to speak her mind, uh, whatever is uh, expressing her excitement or flipping off a co-worker, like uh, Luna as shown in the pilot. Also, as Millie is the brother of Blitz and plays and seems to enjoy her job, it can be assumed she is taut and very violent as well. According to Moxie, she is aggressive in the sex as well as her job. For example, in Mother Family, she appears to be very unsympathetic about killing the family, only caring if it was what the client wanted. Uh, showcasing her dedication to her work. Despite this, she cares very, very much about her husband, especially about her husband and apparently her family. She has uh, a childlike uh, fondness of Lululand, um, triggered by familiar memories uh, of going there as a child. Now, some curiosity about Millie. Millie speaks uh, with a southern accent. Uh, this was not constant in the pilot, but could be occasionally heard. BBC has stated that she will change Millie's voice actor once uh, the actual series premises, but will uh, still keep her previous voice actor. Um, there is a large photo of what could possibly be Moxie and Millie's wedding photo in the meeting room. Um, and in it, uh, she, as I said before, is wearing a long strapless black dress uh, and wild hair that goes down past her hips. Uh, um, this uh, In Vipsy Pop um, short holidays, uh, she has an ornament on a Christmas tree. She appears like an ornament on a Christmas tree. Um, uh, while Millie seems to tolerate Bliss' intrusion, she is not shown to be comfortable with, with other men flirting as the game uh, attendant pushing Moxie away and attempting to flirt with her not seriously upset her. And in the end, let's talk about Luna. Luna, I said um, in the other videos, he is uh, the horror protagonist of Oliver Boss. She is the receptionist of uh, IMP, and uh, she is also the adopted daughter of Blitz. Her nicknames are Looney or Looney Tuny, Dear, my baby, and Sweetie by Blitz, and Furry by Lupi Gupti. Uh, she likes alcohol or her phone, and dislikes her colleagues especially Moxie, syphilis and blitz babying her or being too overprotective. She's a female hellhound and has more than 18 years. Her abilities are target reading, human disgust and hitman efficiency that we'll talk about later. Um, she is also the Grimoire Keeper of IMP. 
uh, Blitz, uh, his, uh, her adoptive father, and her friends, uh, and also a crush, uh, is Vortex. Um, she, her parents, uh, are one of the a wolf like alone, she has a dog like muzzle with sharp and pointed teeth, and dark grey nose, red sclera with white she resists, white fur with grey patches on her shoulders, a big brushy tail, and a voluminous grey hair swept to the side to reveal her hair. She is far taller than the co worker, making her easily the tallest of the main Hulva Boss cast. Her outfit features are a black choker that has white spikes. Her grey crop top has strings shaped like a star to resemble an inverted pentagram to hold it up. Luna wears fingers, gloves, and shot with a crescent moon cut on the right side. She also wears black tulips, structure, and is barefoot. Uh, due to her digital stance, she has a, a piercing on her right eyebrow and two piercing in her left ear. In addition, her right ear is torn. In her human form uh, uh, is largely identical to her hellhound form, a bit human. Her eye colors are inverted, as she has white sclera with red irises. She shrinks down for her demon form, appearing to be of average height uh, compared to most humans in this form. She retains uh, the same outfit as before, but uh, with addition of black knee-high socks and high-top sneakers. Her choker also loses the spice, and in place uh, of her torn right ear, her ear piercings uh, have now swapped uh, to her right ear. Her head uh, is shaved uh, on the right side. About her personality, we can see, uh, we can tell that uh, she is cynical and choleric. Luna generally has no interest in matters that are going on around her. She is rude and apathetic towards her colleagues, uh, particularly Moxie. Told her hair uh, seems otherwise indiscriminate. When not looking at her phone, uh, Luna is uh, giving a hateful grade to anyone in view. She is incredibly undisciplined and doesn't have much of a work ethic. Among her known behavioral issues, Luna has been known to drink to the point of a hangover before work and having unprotected sex to the point of a contracting syphilis. She is also very apathetic to the suffering of others as seen on the occasion where Millie called into the office for up after being stabbed only to be hung up on by Luna. She was also shown uh, taking pictures with her phone of the, the kids, uh, Heidi, when he was being beaten by Blitz, Millie, and Moxie. In spite of this, uh, she is shown to have a minimal amount of responsibilities as she makes sure to keep the grimoire safe from a fire in IMP's office. Luna also displays an extremely short temper combined with emotional instability. Upon being questioned about something as simple as why she was eating Max's lunch, Luna sprinted out of the office and assaulted an innocent bystander to vent her frustrations. This is a particularly egregious uh, given the, the bystander in question was a baby in a carriage, which Luna pointed out of sight. Despite this, Luna shows a somewhat friendly attitude towards Blitz, as he enables her action and at times when he defends her, she smiles and agrees to his defense. She is also shown to appreciate Blitz's sense of humor, especially if it's at Moxie's expense, uh, since uh, she was seen stifling aloud when the, the former made a joke uh, of the uh, latter zig size in the pilot, she also appears to see him uh, as a feather figure at an one point in slipping out and calling him dead much to Blitz's delight. <laughs> Another moment showing their relationship in when Blitz tries to get between her and Vortex be the overproductive father he is, and she snaps at him. She seems to realize that uh, she may have gone too far saying that she need, don't, didn't need him uh, um, back up on time uh, and she doesn't need now. Uh, she instantly um, tries to apologize a few seconds later to Blitz turn off. Uh, he usually 
attitude appears to have also made Luna very socially awkward during her interaction with Valdrax. In fact, she stumbles and struggles to speak a lot, showing she has little experience in those matters. She even at one point admitted to Vox that she has no friend, indicating that Blitz is likely the only one she is close to. Her abilities, uh, as I said before, are human shape shifting. Uh, Luna can take on a convincing human appearance uh, to disguise herself in the living world and enchant her senses. So, after smelling names on the list, in fact, uh, she can identify each one by a red aura around their bodies. Some curiosities about Luna are that his name, her name is a reference to Luna. The words for moon in Latin and most Roman languages, the moon symbol on her short reference this. Uh, it is possible that she was named and signed after the moon itself, since they both share a somewhat similar color scheme. And she is. Uh, oh, she also makes a small cameo in the song of Azminotto. Um, in every demon, it's a rainbow. Inside of every demon, it's a rainbow. Uh, in the episode Spring Broken, she verbally reveals that uh, Blitz adopted her when she was almost 18. Well, guys, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you, you liked it. Uh, if so, let me know, uh, leave a comment, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching this and we will see each other in another video.